Let's take a look at what capabilities PowerMill, or in this case PowerMill Robot, affords the programmer for working with and handling disk profiling or saw cutting type tools, which can be seen in this particular application here on the screen. The toolpath in question, if I temporarily hide the robot, is a disk profiling type strategy. You'll notice if I switch to PowerMill's strategy selector contained within the finishing group, you can see disk profile finishing. If I open the particular settings for the strategy, we have two different drive options for, for generating the toolpath. The first is a drive curve option where we have simple two, two dimensional wireframe. Or alternatively, the user can simply select the surface of choice, as I'm going to be doing in this case. Of course, with all other PowerMill strategies, we can uh, we have full control over the leads and links. Very important for these kinds of toolpaths where we need to ensure good uh, lead-ins and good intelligent lead-outs. Let's make a couple of edits to this toolpath. At first glance, it may look a little unusual. If I uh, unclutter the view, move to our toolpath editing toolbar, I'm going to edit it such that I have only two segments remaining. So let's delete those segments. Let's turn our leads and links back on. And if I once again redraw the robot and run through a simple uh, manual simulation, you can notice quite a simple toolpath, but quite a unique toolpath as well for, for a lot of CAM systems. Very useful indeed for these kinds of applications. Also be aware of the fact that um, PowerMill's got a um, a useful analysis playback option at the bottom of the screen and also the important option for uh, simulating and collision checking tool changes on machine tools or robots.